And now with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row, meteorologist Jordan Lamers. Welcome back, everybody. We're taking a live look at the Windy City right now with our Skyview Network cameras powered by Pella Windows and Doors. If you look closely, you might be able to see a few raindrops or uh, renegade snow flurry here, but uh, it looks like precipitation is wrapping up. They had some morning snow turned over to a wintry mix, and I'm showing you this because this is the mess heading our way. Right now, 38 degrees there in Chicago. Green Bay now locally. Cloudy skies after our sun Shiny morning, 38 degrees here, and you can see that not too far away in Antigo or sub freezing there. Starting to work up into the 30s, slowly getting into the low 40s as we go a few hours from now. And I think we can top out around 41 degrees with our lack of sunshine today. Now, eventually these clouds are going to start to sport a few snowflakes, and I think the best chance for that will be deeper into our evening, going closer to midnight. And the reason why is because we have this area of low pressure that's going to be swinging right into the lower half of Michigan right there. And on the northern tip of this and the western side of this low is where we expect the snow uh, this time of year and more autumn snow is what we can expect. You can see the winter weather advisories through the Plain States over to um, uh, Missouri right now and you can see we're not in a advisory but we're going to have at least the chance to get into this possible snow track that this low uh, brings down here. Look what's going on right now. We have upper level jet stream winds that are producing these uh, snow flurries across this midsection of the state right now by Point, the Dells, over by La Crosse. It's not meaning a whole lot for us here locally just yet, but that chance for some of these flurries or sprinkles for this afternoon uh, are with us with the coming hours. But it's about 8, 9 o'clock tonight where we start to get this wintry mix of precip starting to push into our southern sections. May begin initially as rain or snow, but overnight tonight it's going to change over to some snowflakes. And that will continue right into about daybreak tomorrow. You can see how it's kind of favoring the southern and eastern side of our coverage area. Notice that mess kind of pulls out of here by tomorrow afternoon. And the reason why that's good is because, well, trick or treat start, uh, time start a few out more hours after that. And it looking, looks looking like right now that that's going to be pretty dry for us. Now, here's the snowfall forecast tonight into uh, tomorrow. Less than an inch is expected where we could get some of that lighter snow north of Green Bay. You get south of Green Bay into the valley and over to Sheboygan, Manitowoc, and Fond du Lac, one to three inches. And there are some uh, computer models that I've been seeing that may even push in a pocket of closer to four inches. But we're going to watch this very closely, and I think this is a pretty good guess for what we're dealing with right now. We're also going to be keeping a track on these temperatures, eventually falling into the upper uh, 30s, in some cases the mid 30s, when this snow begins tonight. So that tells me that this could maybe even melt over a little bit to some raindrops. Initially, we go closer to the freezing mark overnight tonight, changing it back to snow. And then as we warm up for Thursday, if there's any precipitation around, it's likely again going to be either melting off just a little bit or creating those wet snowflakes for us uh, during the daylight hours of tomorrow. Trick or treat times though, bone dry is what I'm calling it at six o'clock and it's going to be a little bit breezy out there. Temperatures down into the thirties and with that breeze probably feeling more like the twenties. So you got to bundle up if you're doing any trick or treating. Cloudy skies for this afternoon, a chance for a flurry or sprinkle. Highs in the upper thirties and low forties tonight. And that chance for a wintry mix moves into the southern sections and over to the lake. 30 will be below. Seven day forecast for you now. Not the best day for Halloween, I'll admit. Breezy, wintry mix, 38. Friday could see some more light snow in the evening and then keeping it cool all the way through the seven-day stretch, 30s and 40s for highs.